This is just a refresher from for some uh, stuff from Chapter 1 in Physics 241, very first day. I know it's very clear in your mind. So we'll be talking about unit vectors and cross products. Now, you're all pretty familiar with our XYZ coordinate system. And what we're going to do is we're going to define these unit vectors. And these unit vectors are a unit, a vector along the X, Y, and Z direction. And it just has a unit of one. It doesn't have any units. It just has a direction associated with it. In the X, hat, in the X direction, we typically call that an I hat. In the y, y direction, we call that the J hat. And in the Z direction, we call that the K hat direction. Suppose I wanted to express a velocity. I can say that that velocity is going to be 5 meters per second. And if I wanted to give it a direction, I would say it's in the i hat direction, so in the positive x direction. If I wanted to say that that was in the negative x direction, I could write negative 5 meters per second i hat. Or I could also equivalently write that's going to be 5 meters per second in the negative i hat direction. The i-hat just gives us a direction. It doesn't add any numbers or units or anything like that to our velocity. Now to talk about um, cross products again. What a cross product is, is it's a way to multiply two vectors. And what it's going to produce is it's going to produce a vector that is going to be perpendicular to both of those vectors. So if you think about multiplying a unit vector by itself, there is no vector that could be perpendicular um, to that. And so the unit vector multiplied by itself must be equal to 0 for both i hat, j hat, and k hat directions. If you think about taking the cross product of the i hat direction and the k hat direction, then what you're going to get is you're going to get a unit vector in the k hat direction. This is also related to the right hand rule where if we take our fingers and we point them along the i hat direction and we curl that into the j hat direction and we look at the direction that our thumb points that is in the um, z direction or the k hat direction so i hat i hat crossed with j hat is equal to k hat similarly j crosses with k is going to give us i hat and k crosses with i is going to be j hat and lastly, let's just talk about cross products for vectors. Now this vector, we're, you know, I suppose we're looking at this vector A. We're writing it as some number in the i hat direction, some number in the j hat direction, some number in the k hat direction, so ax, ay, and az. And we're crossing that with the vector B, which has x, y, and z numbers and directions associated with them. If we cross that guy, really, the unit, or the equation to remember, is going to be 126, the equation I'm circling right here. You can also look at this um, by solving for the determinant of a matrix, and I do that in one of the homework problems. But um, just you know, be, you know, remember if you have to do a cross product, look at equation 126.